friends! Today we're going to talk about new releases. The first thing that I want to say is I have a lot of anticipated releases for 2022. However, most of them they're anticipated just based off of like I like the cover or I like the author or I've heard people talk about it so I'm interested. I don't really know what they're about. So leaving that as it is, I have I think 41 or 42 books that are on my most anticipated releases list for next year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to that shelf on Goodreads for you down below because we're only going to talk about 12 of them today. Like my most, most anticipated releases. There's a bunch that I want to get to and that I'm super looking forward to, but these are like the ones that I have to read or I'm going to feel like a failure. Okay. Some of these I have release dates for. Please know that the release dates are tentative. Publishers change release dates quite often these days. So um, if I have a release date and I have a cover, I'll show that to you. If I don't, I'm not going to give it to you because I can't give you things I don't have. Okay. First is Luminaries number one by Susan Dennard. So we don't necessarily know what the title of this book's going to be. It may be The Luminaries. I don't know for sure. This is a book series that Susan had an idea for a really long time ago and she turned into like this choose your own adventure Twitter story. So if you remember that from a couple of years ago, it was huge on Twitter uh, where Susan would like just post like little snippets of the story and let the viewers choose like what action the main character would take from there. And because of the success of that story, she was actually able to sell a version of that story, not necessarily like what we chose as viewers because we were bad choosers. We died quite often and had to like restart back to the beginning. Um, <laughs> but it is like the same world and some of the same characters. And so we're going to be getting a book from her later this year, probably in like August, September, October, around in there somewhere. Not really sure yet, but definitely the second half of the year. And it's Susan Dennard, so I am hyped. The other book that I don't have a date for, but I know is going to be like in the second half of the year, is The Glass Witch by Lindsay Puckett, who is a fellow author tuber who I will link down below in the description box. And it is mid-grade and it follows our main character, who releases an evil spell from like millennia ago and all of her bones turn to glass and she has to go on like this adventure slash scavenger hunt to find these things to defeat the person who made the curse. That's what I remember. I know that there's like a beauty pageant element. I know that it is um, a disabled main character and I'm just, I'm 100% here for it. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Continuing on with a little bit of mid-grade. Now I'm going by date, but I mean, if we can lump them together, by all means, lump them together. Witchlings by Clarabelle A. Ortega. To be honest, I really don't know what this book is about other than it's about some sort of witchlings. I know that once a witch reaches, reaches a certain age, they get sorted into like a specific coven in their town. And I know that our main character gets sorted into like the leftover coven where they send like all the people who they don't think is very magical and that they are going to like turn them into like their servants or whatever. I read Ghost Squad by Clarabelle last year and I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun and I'm super excited to read more from her. The release date for that is February 1st. On February 22nd we have Full Flight by Ashley Shoemaker who wrote one of my favorite books this year, Amelia Unabridged. Full Flight I know is going to break me. If you haven't read the synopsis for this book, I highly recommend that you don't because I've read it and I have a pretty good idea of what's going to happen at the end of it based off of her other work. And I am terrified of what's going to happen, but I'm also here for it. Um, Amelia Unabridged absolutely destroyed me emotionally and I feel like this is going to be a similar thing. I know that it revolves like a good girl falling for the bad boy and they're both in marching band and it deals with like them trying to overcome obstacles um, on the outside of their lives like people trying to keep them apart and then there's some kind of a big tragedy and things happen. That's what I know. On May 3rd we get Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Don't know what it's about but I've loved her first two books. So I'm here for it. On May 17th, we get Adult Assembly Required by Abby Waxman. I know that this one is not the same characters as The Bookish Life of Nina Hill, but I know that 
the main characters from that do have a part in it like they're there they're probably very minor characters but that makes me excited because Nina Hill is one of my all-time favorite books so super hyped for this don't really know what's gonna happen but I don't really care May 31st is The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna who wrote The Gilded Ones um, it is the sequel to this which I loved and I need to know how it ends so excited if you don't know what this particular book is about I can't tell you what the second book's about because that would be spoilers but this book follows a girl who lives in a world where on a girl's 16th birthday there is some kind of like a ritual bloodletting where they figure out if your blood is red or gold and if your blood is gold then you are essentially killed in any way possible because people with gold blood can be kind of hard to kill. Our main character lo and behold has the gold blood and rather than being killed she is basically contracted by the king of this country to fight against these demons that are terrorizing their towns and it is it's a lot it's got a lot of political issues that we see in modern day uh but kind of turned onto this fantasy world that I really enjoy in books I like societal issues in books if you've been here before you know that uh so I really enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to the sequel on July 19th we get Young Bloods by Sasha Lawrence who wrote one of my favorite books of this year and that was A Wicked Magic don't know what this one's about but I'm here for it because I really enjoyed the first book by that author and I want to read more. Next on July 26th is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. That is the sequel to A Legend Born. This book follows our main character Brie who goes to like a pre-college, like she goes to college but she's going to college early and when she gets there she stumbles across this group of, they're kind of like the Knights of the Round Table and they believe that they are all reincarnations of people from the Knights of the Round Table. And Brie is the only person of color in this entire society. And shit goes wackadoo. So this series has a large cast of characters. And there is a lot of inclusivity in them. I absolutely love just all of the characters in here. This book was fantastic and I cannot wait to read the sequel. On August 2nd we have Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. If you've been here before you know I love Adrienne Young like everything she writes I have absolutely loved with one small exception but we're not going to have that right now. Okay again Spells for Forgetting is actually her first adult novel so your girl's here for it. I don't know what it's about but I'm ready for it. August 9th we get These Fleeting Shadows by Kate Alice Marshall. Again don't know what it's about but I read Rules for Vanishing earlier this year and it was like one of the absolute creepiest books I've ever read. I still like thinking about it, it gives me the heebie-jeebies so like super excited. And the last book we're going to talk about is also on August 9th and that is Blood Like Fate by Lizelle Sanberry. It is the sequel to this glorious book Blood Like Magic. Lizelle is also an author cheaper so I'll link her down below if you would like to check her out. I have a full vlog of me reading this book that I will link down below for you if you would like to peruse because it's fantastic. But this book follows Boya who comes from a family of witches in like a near future Toronto. These witches are given like a task to complete in order to gain their full power and Boya's task is to kill her first love and there's a problem. Voya's never been in love. So this book follows Voya trying to find her first love so that she can then fall in love with him and then kill him so that she can save her family's magic and a bunch of other things. Like there is some twists, some turns. There was some shit that like had me like in tears in the first 25% of this book. This book was a wild fucking ride. So again, if you haven't watched my vlog video. I mean even if you have you can go watch it again. It was fantastic. I had a great time and I think you should go rewatch it and have a great time as well. Um, but yeah so this this guy is gonna have a sequel and I'm so stoked. So that's it. Those are the 12 books that I am most anticipating for 2022. Again the list of like the full 40, 42, however many there are will be linked in the description box down below for you if you'd like to peruse through some books that I have. Most of them I have arcs for. Uh, not any that we just discussed do I have arcs for but a lot of the others that are on the list I do have arcs for and that's always notated in there as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!